From the perspective of one who understands the Holy Father and the message that the Vatican seeks to present, welcome to the Hardline, the former ambassador to the Holy See, Francis Rooney. Ambassador Rooney, let me begin by asking you with regard to some of the criticism that the Pope accepts here from people in America. In your opinion, would the Pope, any Pope, ever seek to mold their image and their message simply to fit a political party in any country? Never would happen. The, the Pope is the penultimate global moral leader, and as such, when he speaks, he speaks to the world, or he speaks to the United States, in this case, in a global context, basically putting out aspirational themes, which I think he did today, rather than focus on uh, trying to slant his message one way or the other. I think he took enough shots at both sides in the last couple of days. I know that the Pope likely personally would never take a lot of this, but those who are in the Vatican, those who are there, those who care for the Pope, and those like yourself who are close to what the Vatican really means, do you get insulted by those people who say, it's all about politics and the Pope, you've got to stick your nose out of it because you don't belong there? No, I, I think they're just, uh, they're misinformed about the role of the Pope in the world, and it actually does nothing but belittle them. I mean, I think that congressman that refused to attend the, the session because of the Pope's views on immigration uh, came out looking a whole lot worse than the Pope did. What do you think the Pope would hope to accomplish here? Because obviously, he's talking to a very divided group of men and women who simply can't seem to get along on anything these days. So how does he then mold that message and try to get something done? Well, as we can see from the speeches that he made, he's a very complex guy, and he, it's hard to pigeonhole him in one thing or another. I mean, the, 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 there have been times where he's been pigeonholed as a liberal socialist, as a rabid environmental reformer, etc. But when you read what he said and you hear these different speeches in different contexts, he's a little more nuanced, you know? He said today that business was an essential service to the common good. I thought that was a, a great statement from a guy who is from Argentina and is, is historically uh, suspicious of business. I thought he had some very aspirational comments about the greatness of the United States today, almost like he's calling us to lead the world, which is something that we've all feel uh, at many times we, we feel that we have to rule the world because if we don't, some bad guys are going to do it. Oh my God, about 45 seconds left. Do you think he sees himself as a peacemaker, even though he is getting involved in politics, but perhaps seeking to start some sort of a dialogue between groups of people who don't even want to talk to each other in the hallway? Well, he spoke extensively towards the end of his speech about the need for dialogue when he was referring to Thomas Mertens uh, as an as a, as a avenue towards peace and conflict resolution. And I think that that's a hallmark of Holy See diplomacy, whether it's in the interreligious area with, with uh, dealing with uh, religiously inspired terrorism or if it's in situations like Colombia, where I know the Pope played a very subtle and quiet role in helping bring the uh, government of Colombia and the FARC together, which was a historic move yesterday. It is certainly the one thing that this Pope does, well, like most Popes, quiet unassuming and tries to get the point across without yelling and here in america i think we know that that sometimes doesn't quite work you've got to yell and get your point across so let's hope he and did he did indeed have something to say and people understand it ambassador francis rooney thank you so much for joining us we do certainly appreciate your time we speak about the pope so let's give you a chance to learn more about this pope who is pope francis where has he come from and what is it that you can learn about him do this this is our special offer for Francis, a Pope for our time, go to Newsmax.com forward slash Pope or 800-203-7047. Learn more about the Pope. We'll talk more about everything right here on The Hardline next.